Hey everyone, it's Matt. I'm sitting here in my home office away from the church campus because I, like probably all of you, am doing what I can to practice social distancing as we recognize the impact that the COVID-19 virus is having on our world. We grieve with those around the world who have already lost loved ones. We pray for healing for those who are currently suffering. And we recognize that we are all united in the fact that our lives have been disrupted in ways we did not expect and in ways for which most of us were not prepared. Yet we also have a faith that tells us that even in the midst of all of this fear and even in the midst of all of this unknown, God is still at work. Just yesterday, one of our church members texted me a reference to Psalm 46, where the psalmist reminds us that God is our strength and our refuge, that God is a very present help in times of trouble. And because God is with us, even though our most natural response is fear, we do not need to be afraid, but we can rely upon God to give us the strength to face the challenges ahead with hope and with a peace that passes understanding. Now, we also know that many of us find God's presence most when we're able to gather together with the community of faith. And this virus has ensured that we are not able to do that in ways that we normally would, at least for a time. For example, for the next couple of weeks, we are not going to be able to gather on our church campus in any of the ways we are used to. Most especially, we are not going to be able to gather for worship at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. This grieves me, but it is what we need to do so that we can ensure that we are not passing this virus any farther. Now, we also know that we need to worship, that worship fuels us. It helps us to be connected with God and with the community of faith, and it strengthens us as we go out each week to serve God and to bear witness to Christ in the world. And so we, as a church family, as a ministerial staff, and all of those who are involved in planning of worship, want you to know that we are going to find ways for you, wherever you are, to worship as part of the community of faith at Augusta Road Baptist Church every Sunday. We are going to find ways to meet you where you are or to send you resources that you will be able to use on your own or as a family each Sunday as we know that even though we're separated by walls, our faith continues to strengthen the ties that are binding us. We also want you to know that you are not alone. No matter what happens in the days ahead, we are with you, we love you, and we are lifting you up in prayer. Your ministerial staff is always available to you. Even if we cannot get to you in person, we will find ways to be with you in spirit, to talk to you on the phone, to video conference with you. If that is what you need, we will find ways to minister to you. Our deacons as well are going to be reaching out to their families, and we are going to be using the technology at our disposal to ensure that small groups are able to connect with one another for study and for fellowship and for lifting each other up in the ways that we need. No, we cannot be certain about what the days ahead are going to be like. We do not know how difficult this may truly become, but we can have faith that God is at work, that God will be our strength and our refuge through it. And we would encourage you to reach out to us in any ways that you need so that we can ensure that Christ's spirit continues to draw us together as a community of faith, to carry us through this time, and to remind us that God is always with us. May God bless you in the days to come.